I knows. Let's listen to it right now. Hey everybody, we're here with Arne Hushenbet, winner of the Call Time Championship, playing Teamer Rhinos here this weekend. Why did you choose this deck? Uh, yeah, Teamer Rhinos. Uh, I mean, when we saw a lot of the rings hit the hit the the field, we saw like Orcish Bowmasters and Ring. We saw these new cards being like played in really high numbers, and I wanted to find a deck that like, I tried a lot of stuff: blue white control leagues, everything. What else? And then I. Got back in time a little bit, looked at like what was the meta game before, and I saw like Rhinos was a deck, huh? Orcish Bowmasters, not very good against Rhinos. You have Force of Negation for Ring, and yeah, just tried it out, and it worked pretty well in our testing, so here we are. All right, excellent. Let's talk about the deck a little bit, and uh, kind of the reason for the deck being Crashing Footfalls. Talk to me about this card. Yeah, so uh, Crashing Footfalls. Well, we can get with Violin Outpost and Shardless Agents producing a ton of power, 4-4 four, four, Trample, Kills them usually in two turns with all the fetch lands around in modern. So we have this it's sort of like a Delva-ish strategy. You put these rhinos out and then you just kill them with them and uh, yeah, disrupt the rest. You know, corner spells, shots. And, and stuff. two four four rhinos. That's enough to get it done in modern. That's that's enough. I mean, you can get four more. And like, you know, <laughs> keep chaining them. And it's like that is yeah. Why stop at two? Yeah, why stop exactly. at two? Okay, that's crashing footballs. Let's talk about how we do it. Violent outburst. Tell me about this card. Yeah, I mean, violent outburst has been around for a while. The premium cascade spell we see it in the living end. Just being able to hold up, you know, interaction while also having violent outburst threatening your opponent to flash those four fours in is just very very powerful. Yeah. Yeah, this is a fabulous card, of course. Uh, Force of Negation, you mentioned it a little earlier. What's its role? Yeah, I mean, Force of Negation is maybe at its best in modern than it has been in a long time because the one ring. Um, right. You, you, again, like, your you game plan, put those rhinos onto play, turn free, and then free spells become really good at that point because you want to, at best, cast a free spell, protect those rhinos, or, can't, or interrupt your opponent, and Force of Negation is just the best thing you can be doing right now in terms of that. Lorien Revealed is a new card here from the Lord yeah, of the Rings. Yeah. Uh, very powerful. How do you use it in this deck? Uh, it is essentially flood insurance, of course, as we see in limited decks, yes. but off mainly too because we have subtlety and force of negation to pitch it as an additional blue card, which can be huge. Like I've pitched so many Lorien Reveals to, to those various spells. Yeah, that, that really is what it makes up for. A really flexible card that you can use a number of different ways yes, here in yes. this build. Something a little unusual I do have to ask you about. Questing Beast, what is yeah, this card yeah. doing uh, in here? Well, <laughs> it's it's a spicy last minute edition. I mean, we, we've we known about it. Questing Beast has this line of text where, hey, damage that would be a dead by creatures you can't control can't be prevented, so it goes around the ring. So in our testing, um, I just found out that when they play ring and I play Questing Beast, I would just win the game every time, <laughs> pretty much. Like, not immediately maybe, but like, this swing is just too huge. They take a bunch of damage, the rhinos all of a sudden <laughs> deal them damage again. So Questing Beast, you know, and then it's like a 4 mana 4 for haste, you know, it just does its thing against various decks. But yeah, of course it has also some bad matchups, so then you take it out. And Dismember is the other card I wanted to bring up as being slightly unusual. Yeah, so I worked a lot on a five-color version of the deck too, but by the way, I also worked with Edgar Magalhaes and Kai Buddha is also playing the deck. And we tried like Leyland Binding. We wanted to have a removal that was good against Chalice on the one hand and like Ring and Shieldred, various threats that were really like threatening for this deck. And just the mana base, it was a bit too clunky playing all five colors, playing the Triumphs. So then I went back to Timur and then we found this member. And this member is just perfect for this deck. It's a one mana spell, but you cannot play spells that cost less than three, but it is kind of one mana spell. And there's like Wall of Roots, Yakmoth, Shieldred, very many problematic high toughness creatures that this member gets. That's awesome. How confident do you feel heading into this weekend with this deck choice? I don't know. I mean, we were pretty split on the, on like various decks in our testing. I, I feel happy about it. I, I wouldn't say it's like broken, you know, like I broke it or whatever. I, I just feel, yeah, comfortable. If anybody at home is seeing this deck and thinking, hey, Team Rimos looks like my speed, what would you tell them as one tip to play the deck well? Uh, one tip to play the deck well. Mulligan aggressively towards Rhinos, I suppose. You gotta, yeah, I mean, that's not one. Yeah, that's that's one tip, I guess. <laughs> Mulligan, Mulligan aggressively to yeah, your Rhinos. Yeah, yeah. All right, Arne Hushenbet, that th deck looks sweet. Best of luck to you this weekend. Thank you, Maria. <laughs> Everybody make sure to join